Wacky wonky laws. You guys like those? I don't like them. <laughs> um, so in Florida, they have the don't say gay bill, which advances. If it makes it all the way to, to Ron DeSantis, uh, that, that's it. It's in. Uh, this bill is fucked. This bill is fucked. So we're going to actually we're going to watch this. And the critics are calling the don't say gay bill. The bill says that schools, quote, may not encourage classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity in K through 12th grade or in a manner that is not age appropriate or developmentally appropriate for students. The bill does not actually define what is age appropriate. To bring us the very latest, we're joined now by ABC's Victor Akendo from Miami. Victor, thanks so much for joining us. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who could become a presidential candidate in 2024, has signaled his support. That's fucking scary if he becomes a presidential candidate that's terrifying but yeah basically it's like k through 12 schooling they're just gonna eliminate any education about lgbt people which is ridiculous it's ridiculous because lgbt people exist they're part of the world and you can be lgbt while also being a child. Um, and, and there are also ways to talk about these things in age-appropriate manners. It's, there's really no reason for this bill. This bill is just here to hurt minorities and, and to just make everyone feel bad. That's, that's the bill. It's just, it's just a bill from a Republican, and the purpose is to hurt people. That's it. And it's like, there's already so much mental mental health issues, um, suicidality, self harm. There's already so many struggles that LGBT kids go through, and now it's like they can't they can't talk to anyone in their school about any of their teachers about it. It's I mean, for me and for a lot of people that I know, school is like one of the only places that some kids feel they're safe because at home they're not treated right and they they can't be safe to come out. But at school, they can be themselves. And like that's that's really important. And to like want to take this away from children is it's just fucked up. Like. Like, I don't really think that evil is a thing that exists, but like, this is pretty close to that concept. Support for this bill. Tell us what he has said about it and, and why he thinks that this is a good idea. Lindsay, it was here in Miami where the governor did express his support for this bill. At least he signaled his support for it. He said in part that it was entirely inappropriate for teachers to be having conversations with students about gender identity. He goes on claiming that there have been instances where students have been told by different folks not to worry about picking their gender yet and then not telling their parents about these discussions. Finally. OK, things aren't bad because you're not telling your parents. It's it's not bad if a secret is being withheld from a parent that that is not an inherently bad thing i don't know just like the misconception that lgbt stuff is inherently inappropriate and um also just the thing about gender identity is just like i don't want kids to be trans that's all that means it's it's just i don't want kids to be trans he said that the larger issue here is that parents needs need to have a seat at the as if like people make other people trans. This is not something that there has been any significant evidence of. I I, I don't think that this is this is an issue. No, nobody's like converting anyone to being trans. It's just kind of like if you know you can be trans, you're going to take the option if you are trans. But if you don't even know, I mean, because I didn't know I was trans because I didn't have any education on that. It really fucked up my life. It really made things really hard for me. And then I came out really late. And then um, my whole family was like, oh, you didn't show any signs. And it's like I had to show signs, apparently. And it's, I don't know. It's stupid. The table when it comes to what's going on in schools. 
Lindsay? And, and of course, the backlash to this bill has been strong and swift. In a tweet, President Biden called it hateful, and advocates say that it could effectively ban all Based lessons about LGBTQ plus issues. Tell us more about the efforts to, to stop this from becoming law in Florida. Look at him being based. Lindsay, advocacy organizations are doing what they can, but this bill keeps moving forward. The official release from the White House here, conservative politicians in Florida advance legislation that is designed to target and attack kids who need support the most. LGBTQI plus students who are already vulnerable to bullying and violence just for being themselves. And just today we heard from Press Secretary Jen Psaki. She said, it's cruel, it's harmful, and you know, it's certainly something that is not helping these young people, members of this community who are already vulnerable, already being bullied. Lindsay, it's pretty rare this to hear is, this from the White based. House on a Florida bill. And this bill, of course, has... I like that they are just explaining this, and it's like, this is just objectively true. Like, this this bill is is motivated by hatred by homophobia, transphobia, like it's motivated by bigotry. And I like that uh, that's just objectively presented here. A, a similar feature to the controversial Texas abortion law, SB8, it encourages parents to bring lawsuits against educators if they believe sexual orientation was discussed in the classroom. It, that's what do critics have to say up. about that? Imagine being such a snowflake that um, you have to put a lawsuit against the school if they said anything about gay stuff, imagine. It's only these conservatives. They are so sensitive. Well, the concern here is that it will really put teachers on thin ice, uh, that they could be potentially open to lawsuits if they discuss sexual orientation. Here's just one example that could arise. Let's say a teacher has a student with same-sex parents. If that were to come up in the classroom, how could they possibly explain that without potentially running into some of these troubles here? Uh, as you mentioned, Lindsay, this bill, uh, it doesn't clearly define what is age or developmentally appropriate. So this could really pit parent against parent or create this uh, society of snitches almost. Lindsay? Society. Yeah, but Victor, curious to know, uh, how is this bill being received in Florida? Lindsay, we've heard both sides here. Uh, we heard from one- Imagine, imagine there, the fact that there is a both sides, the fact that there is a both sides to this is so unbelievably fucked, dude mom who said that her transgender daughter's school kept her daughter's privacy from who, from her and she made it feel like this school was telling her daughter that they needed to protect her from her mother rather than letting her mother protect her now on the other side that's just gross also i can't tell i mean this information was um relayed from the mother so it's possible that we're dealing with a trans man here or the the news did some digging and found out that this was a trans girl i don't know it's very ambiguous as to what the gender identity of this child is but this is a trans child whose mom is having a hissy fit over their kid being allowed to be themselves in school it's it's really sad to see this is this is on the news they're calling it offensive, discriminatory, say that we are going backwards here, and that this basically sends a message to the LGBTQ community that their existence is so inappropriate here that it shouldn't even be discussed in the classroom. Keep this in mind, based. there is already a high suicide rate in this community, True. and if you remove some of these critical lifelines, like in many cases teachers and counselors, that might make this even worse. Lindsay? Yeah, we can expect that. Yeah, I mean, this, he's basically implying this will kill kids. This has this has the potential to kill kids. So that that's the first bad law. Uh, second, Utah Republicans propose a commission to analyze trans kids' bodies. New bill proposes a panel to access wingspan hip to knee ratio in a more case by case basis. Utah Republicans have introduced a first of its kind anti-trans sports bill that would form a commission to determine student athlete eligibility on a case by case basis. This commission would have had the authority to establish a baseline range for various attributes, including height, weight, body mass, wingspan, hip to knee ratio and or other 
physical characteristics affected by puberty, barring trans student athletes who do not fall within the established limits from participating in gendered sports. If kid, if if these kids are like before puberty, you would need to do this. And if they're if they're after puberty, like I guess you could just make sure they're within the the weight range. I don't know. Sports are so stupid. It would be better if everyone was just like ranked like it was a video game. If it was like a competitive video game. Everything was like that. It's just like you have stats and if you fall within the uh stat requirement, that's that's the rank you play in. And it doesn't matter what the gender of the people there are. But yeah, basically this bill just wants to single out trans people and uh inspect them specifically not everybody else not a- if you're cis you do not go under the ins- inspection it seems uh this is specifically for trans people 